Hey YouTube, I uh, wanted to take a little bit of time to uh, do a little video, but first I uh, wanted to show you a little bit my new view, <laughs> new life, new view uh, in the new town. I'm in a little coffee shop right now. So uh, meet Sunshine Coast and Sunshine Coast meet YouTube. So I'll uh, turn around the uh, the camera and then uh, we'll start chatting. How's it been? <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time that uh, you didn't see your favorite nurse. Uh, a lot has happened, as you can see. Moved again. <laughs> this time I should stay there for quite a while. Uh, I'm still on my little island. It's a new, new town called Campbell River. Uh, up north, as you can see, beautiful ocean everywhere. It's basically a paradise for the kind of living I'm doing. There's mountains on the other side. There's mountains over there. And a whole bunch of islands and all this can be kayak, fish, crab. You name it, we have it. <laughs> but I wanted to do a little um, little video uh, to update as I'm uh, going to become a little bit more... Uh, gonna restart doing videos on a more regular basis but uh, with the new new life the content is going to be a little bit different um, with the uh, pandemic uh, one of the reason I kind of stopped doing video being uh, well like my channel says the mountain RN uh, now I maybe I should change it for ocean RN I don't know <laughs> There's still going to be mountain. Do not worry. <laughs> There's still going to be mountain. Um, but uh, yeah, with the uh, COVID, um, medical content became uh, kind of politicized. And I didn't want to get into this. And plus, uh, we didn't get hit as hard as many places. But um, uh, being in the critical care and in the front line, I, um, I still got my share of uh, COVID patient to take care of and all the things that comes with it so um uh, uh and uh, actually now i'm on uh work leave because um i got injured at work subject for another view <laughs> maybe <laughs> but uh, so uh yeah i'm taking the time now just finally uh install um but like i said i wanted to do a little bit of an update on what's coming for the video for um for my little channel um the videos will my my goal this year uh, with the injury i'll be limited in um until i can uh fully uh finish all the physio and everything um uh, for security uh, mostly uh, food security um now that i have the space um looking at um bought a smoker um so preservation um all kind of things and as it's going to be a new journey for me as well and I'm not an expert at all <laughs> but um, I'll, I'll try to bring you along and and share the experience that I'm, I'll be doing and the uh, mistakes and <laughs> failure or the success that's going to be going um, but yeah a lot of um, food uh, as you can see over here uh, crabbing is going to become a lot of little um, back on on the schedule as well uh, we have beautiful place we're thinking kind of going towards this island right over there um we'll be uh looking for place and so basically you for those that don't know what crabbing is is that you put like a cage in there you leave it for a few days and as the crab kind of walks in they can it's like a one way they can go in but they can't come out you pick up your um your cage and yum yum <laughs> you have some fresh seafood uh, you cannot be more fresh than this you literally pick it up and uh you you process it yourself there's also uh talks of um uh chickens um we got the permit now it's to uh go through all that well we have the permit to own the chickens now it's um where we're gonna put how big uh the chicken coops and stuff so i've been reading a lot on that like I said, uh, when I mentioned about a smoker, so uh, sausage making, um, also um, 
uh, can canning will become a little bit more. Our garden may hold off a little bit because we have to set up all the raised bed and all this and uh, season may be a little bit late for us to start anything well by the time we finish all those projects um, also uh, finally got my license to hunt uh, here in BC so um, that that also uh, will come because um, uh, here we have to do a uh, two-day course to get your license it's it's very basic but you know it's like um, the rules and how it works and stuff and then once you have this you, you did this basic course you get your uh, your a number that basically then you can buy all your tags for all the different um, animals that you want to hunt and stuff so um, in the fall a few of those videos and with that too um, there's a beautiful range over here I didn't have a chance to go and visit them yet um, since we moved because again uh, my injury basically my injury was at my right arm um, I'm starting to be off a, a sling and stuff um, I'm still uh, not fully functional but um, as you can see I mean I can use it but uh, um, anyway I don't want to go too much in that one but um, so guns and um, uh, range shot shots over here and uh, probably also in the fall um, some um, we have to discover where we're gonna go hunt and everything so maybe a few scouts here and there got a bunch of uh, maps and stuff too uh, last year uh last fall yeah uh took a class which was actually pretty cool it was a four-day course on uh, deer hunting and during those four days was all about like how to butcher uh, butcher them how to um plan your 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 trip and all this in the same time was a little bit of a vacation because um they were serving food and it was amazing like i had like some bear tacos and like everything was wild wild uh, meat uh it was an awesome, awesome course uh, for um and they also actually give another course uh, the same company uh, this one was kind of like the i hand one like you know like they were making food for you and stuff and there was no camping but there's another one and maybe not this season but next season uh where basically you go with your backpack and they bring you in the back back country and uh, you go hunting that way so that's the kind of uh, hike, uh hunt that we'd like to do uh especially small games and things like that so um so more videos on that as medical wise um due to uh, certain circumstance i have to redo my uh my medical kit and um I, I'm waiting for one to come. When I get that, I'll do a little review of it. It is actually the Adventure Medical Kit uh, Marine Thousand, I think. Actually, it was an awesome deal. It was 50% um, uh, on eBay. And um, I always wanted to see what those kits were like because from the website and what I could see, um, seems amazing like especially for the kind of uh, things we've been, we talk about self-reliance and everything because it's a it would be a good kit to start and rebuild so i'm kind of glad that <laughs> i don't have a medical kit now so that way i'll be able to rebuild uh, that one and um it works with colors and everything so anyway when i get that um a few medical videos and stuff um also probably in shortcoming because i just finished that project um this week and maybe there's a little bit more to be done next week but um i just bought myself a new truck and uh, to go with the lifestyle and um it's a tacoma and i had a tacoma before and so i knew that th that system was there but uh, behind their seats there's uh, storage um, and I was wondering if I could make something uh, so that you know my uh, plot one if you because it's a four uh, four door so that means that um, if I get people over and stuff like that I don't want to have like knives and stuff like this all over the place and two uh, I don't want either to uh, attract people by having a big go bag uh, on this. And so what I did was uh, did a one week go bag that I'm, le I'm leaving in the truck. Um, and it's uh, part of uh, the role, the uh, Canadian uh, prepper role. 
and uh, I may do a video on that especially there's a little bag that I've worked on uh, which is I'm pretty happy with so far I, I didn't have to try it but just by concept wise and sending down a communication bag that is always going to be in the, in the truck and so I may go through that I'm waiting for a few uh, cables to arrive and may I do a video on that so yeah I just wanted to uh, come by and see and enjoy my little uh, my little tea it's this uh, amazing little place actually uh, it's uh, right beside the sea and uh, pre-covid they're starting now because the restrictions are kind of uh, going down but there's this fireplace and apparently uh, some of the uh, people, the regulars that comes over here says that there always like people like from all around the world that comes and visit this place. They go over there and just tell stories and ch chat with each other and stuff while drinking tea and stuff. So it's it's actually a pretty cool concept. Um, so um, yeah, I uh, just wanted, like I said, to uh, catch up a little bit and I'll talk to you soon.